I'm Joseph Alpert, the Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine, and I'm here to give you a very quick introduction to an interesting article in this month's AJM. Um, it's uh, Brush et al., and it's uh, from the mostly Yale-sponsored uh, Silver AMI trial. That is, they're collecting a whole bunch of data on older people, how they present with a heart attack, and, and also uh, therapies and, and outcomes and so forth. This particular article looked at, um, except at the differences in presentation of acute MI for men and women. We've talked about this a lot in the clinic. We say, yeah, you know, when women present, sometimes it's more atypical. Typical. Sometimes it's more like indigestion and so forth, but that's you know sort of hearsay. And, and here, what we had was real good hard data on a large number of, of uh, older folks with uh, with uh, heart attacks. And a couple of things came out. First of all there were a whole lot of different th ways that people presented, that there wasn't nobody, everybody didn't come in with the big, you know, clutching their chest and have a pain right here in the middle of the chest. There were lots of, uh, some people in digestion, some people, you know, had just jaw pain, other people came in short of breath, and there were many different ways to, to, to present with a heart attack. There were differences between men and women, but there was still significant overlap. Women more often had uh, GI type symptoms. They more often had jaw um, and upper, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, cranial uh, type symptoms than men, but there was enough overlap that you couldn't say, well, always when you see this, you know, in a woman, it, it, it's a heart attack. So again, the message is very clear take a careful history, look at the cardiogram and the, and the, the troponin blood values uh, um, and, uh, and think. Uh, I've seen so many myocardial infarctions missed because people didn't think.